but it is extremely early I believe I woke up just after seven it's about got hair there on my tongue it's about five to eight we're gonna drive down Sydney and see what we can see in terms of MX day releases I uh, got my infrareds on hoping they bring me luck but let's see I feel like MX ones aren't really something people are going to be camping out for, but you never know. So let's go. Worst case scenario, I'm hoping for the Terrascape joints, the black ones. So that could be a consolation prize, but I really want those MX ones in the blue. Also, think I've just hit on a raffle on a release that I've really, really wanted. So weird circumstances, didn't get told I won the raffle, but got sent shipping information. So. Still a little hesitant to pull out on the other raffle. See how we go. I mean, the plan was simple. Going to Sydney, get a pair from the Air Max Day collection, or at the very least, the Terrascape Air Max 90s in the black, because I already got the white ones and I love them. So we're gonna go to the city last minute. I thought, let's go to Parramatta. Parramatta is one of the big Nike stores too. Uh, and I just feel like it's gonna be easy to navigate with parking and everything like that. So we've just rocked up. Let's see how we go. expected much more but I feel like Newcastle knew more about it last year where am I let's go to the city hope for a much better outcome at the very least I want the Terrascape joints they weren't even there at Nike got some cool stuff around JD and all that put Lock had some heap of basketball shit I've never seen in person but nothing I want or need. Um, crazy to see them Jordan 14 still sitting, you know, but it is what it is. Let's go city. Actually, Culture Kings is around the corner. Let's go there and see if they have an in-store release. Because if they have an in-store raffle, I'd love to experience that. If it's something I want. Be honest man Parramatta was a bias Parramatta used to be like the spot that I used to go to back in the day they had two foot lockers there they obviously got the Nike store there now JD as well but yeah I, everywhere I went they had no idea what I was talking about like 
when I, the Nike store, I feel like it was like casual that was helping me and you know, she seemed a little bit confused by what I, what I was asking. But when I went to JD, they didn't even know what I was talking about. When I, they had the, the dunks that must have just dropped, the royal and black, with like a camo sort of print sort of thing, I don't know. You know, I had a few things there, a few things that I hadn't seen before, and it's funny that like, when I was filming, I was focused on what I was focused on, and then watching it back, I'm like, oh, I should have shown them, they're, they're pretty cool too. But we went to Foot Locker as well within Parramatta and they're like, oh, the only new Air Max we got are like the TNs. And I'm like, <laughs> no one had any idea what I was talking about. So I was pretty disheartened uh, and decided to go into the city because I know there's a lot more options there. And hopefully we can get what I'm after. They killed it. Still no luck on the Air Max Day releases, but I did see the concepts in person at Supply. And man, like, they look a lot better than what I thought they did. So, I don't know, we might be back for them if I can't get these other ones. Let's see. So I was in and out of Culture Kings pretty quick uh, at Parramatta. They had some Jordan 5s there. They had a couple things. They had the 35th anniversary 97s and 90s. But I needed to get out of there quick because I couldn't work the parking meter. And it only gave me like 15 minutes. I'm like, ah, oh, i got to be quick. So but let's go to George Street. We got Foot Locker, Nike, JD, and Culture Kings again. Somebody got to know something, man. At least I'm on the Terrascapes, yeah? First stop in the city was Supply. I've been there once before to pick up a raffle win. Um, Jordan 4, University 4s. And even when I was there, there was a couple of things that I believed were sold out, but were sitting on the shelf. So I thought even if they didn't have these, they might have something interesting on the shelf. And they did. They had the Passport SB Dunks, they had uh, all the Ambush Dunks, Ambush? I don't know what these are. I don't know, Ambush, what are they? I don't know, the different shaped Dunks that have just come out, you know, sold out everywhere, but they're sitting there, you know, they've got a couple pairs. But they had the concept uh, Air Max ones, and that was essentially what they got for Air Max Day. And I released that day, and all the raffles are sold out, you know, resale's going crazy, and I'm looking at them and I'm like, this is how you know I'm not a reseller, because I looked at them and I'm like, they do look better in person, 100% they do look better in person. And there's gonna be comments saying that I should 100% pick them up, but I was like, they're not for me. The excess, like string at the back, the camo, they're, they're not for me. I know there'll be people in these comments saying that I should have picked them up at the very least to try and like sell them, make a couple bucks, but that ain't me.
George Street was, I'm not going to say a bust. They had a lot of interesting things on George Street. George Street, you got uh, Culture Kings as well, which I didn't even film in there because they basically had what the other one had, but like a cooler entrance. I mean, the other one was pretty cool too. They both got like an escalator and you come up and see the lights and it's a whole presentation, but they didn't really have anything more than say what the other one did. So I didn't think it was really worth filming. George Street, Foot Locker, didn't really have anything at all, to be honest. Uh, Jordan, Air Max, nothing. Um, I don't even think I filmed anything in there. Could be wrong. George Street and Nike were very helpful. They didn't have anything. They had a bunch of, you know, women's Jordans that I didn't mind, but didn't come in my size. Um, but they were really helpful, you know, made me a whole new account, hoping that maybe that will help me get emails when things release. And they were like, look, try Pitt Street. So everyone kept saying Pitt Street, talking about Pitt Street, Pitt Street, Foot Locker, Pitt Street, Nike. So I'm like, all right, let's go Pitt Street more. I think I've been there once. To the JD, I feel like. I don't think the Foot Locker was open yet at that time. And I definitely didn't go to the Nike store. I'd never been there before, which that's going to be the first place I go to now. Pitt Street JD had a bunch of Air Max stuff. You know, JD gets exclusives, right? And we see them at our local JD, but this one just seemed to have like stuff that I'd never seen. These um, these Air Max 95s, the blue joints, it was kind of a similar colorway to, you know, the OG Neons, but like within a blue and the, it looked amazing. Then this other pair that gave me like an undefeated sort of vibe, I've never seen them. Both of them are exclusive. There's a bunch of other stuff, but yeah, they they had no idea about anything MX1 related or the pop-up that 1.4 were doing, because I was trying to get involved in that. I'd heard that there was a pop-up in the city somewhere, I just couldn't get the location, so. Foot Locker had a bunch of stuff, you know, similar to what we're seeing around, a bunch of Jordans and that sort of stuff that are sitting, you know, long sold out online, but get into your stores, and if you know, you're regional like I am, go take a trip down Sydney because you'll you will see a bunch of stuff. But we went to, oh, the, the New Balance uh, 5740 Vides collab. I saw them in person, probably didn't like them as much in person. I, can't, I, was, I was very close to buying, but I couldn't do it. It was cool to see M1s in person, like the Tai Chi's. You, you don't really see them anywhere, but you know, if you know, you know, M1 had a, had a massive following back in the day. And it's cool to see them about mixed in with like newer styles as well. So I'm not, I'm not sure how popular they are, but one of the other things I saw at one of the Foot Lockers, I'm not sure which one, but they had the, uh, the Mellow in the Buzz City colorway, but in Juniors, and they look a even better in person, so... I know they're sold out, I'm, I'm going to have to find a colorway to get a pair of Mellows in because they look incredible and you know something to actually hoop in, I feel like that'd be dope.
but Nike Pitt Street Mall. This is the biggest Nike store where they get the best stuff in all of New South Wales. And for whatever reason, I've never been there. I always thought it was George Street. George Street will tell you that, but actually, no, they, when I was there on Saturday, they did tell me Pitt Street, but on the wall, bunch of Jordans that have sold out and been restocked. They randomly get surprise restocks. They told me this. Uh, they had the UNC sixes there, size eight to nine, not my size, unfortunately, but they had the, the crater mids that I'd looked at. I'd come real close to buying them, but I was still focused on getting the Air Max ones. And I want to say that the Jordan 11 breads in that uh, the, you know that weird cage sort of thing they had a bunch of random like The women's Jordan ones that looked dope. It was like a lime green and, and tan color that was super dope but yeah, like They just had all this stuff sitting and this is stuff that I Would say not all of it But some of it's been resold right now, and it's just sitting there on shelves and I was blown away, you know we talk about going into stores, getting that, you know, walking into a shop and seeing something on the wall that you're not expecting to be there. I had that multiple times over at this joint, so I'm going to have to go back. Right across from it, though, which is a little bit sus, is a resale store. And <laughs> they had a bunch of UNC 6s in there, too, so they only dropped last week. I'm trying to hit them up, trying to find out how can I be added to early list, how do I do this, and they're like, oh, you know, uh, and they couldn't give me a straight answer. But, obviously, if you've got a storefront opposite, you can walk in there every day and see what's available. Or, you become friends with people to work there and build relationships like that. Either way, kind of sus, I'm not going to throwing anyone under the bus it was cool to have a look around and seen a bunch of stuff that I've never seen in person but then prices were crazy absolutely crazy I didn't film anything in there there was a, a, quite a few people in there um, and it just felt weird doing that but also I don't know I, I really don't want to promote that sort of thing but anyway the overall trip it seemed like a bust, like we ain't even seen any Air Max Day releases until I randomly see this store on George Street that I've probably walked past a bunch of times when I've been in George Street and just not known what it was, but the automatic doors had just opened and I was like, hey, that kind of looks like some Salomons. And that looks like, let's go, let's just have a look. They went up to big sizes, I take it? Yeah. They went up to bigger yeah. sizes? Yeah. That looks close to my size. Turns out it was Sneaker Boy. And the presentation of the store is immaculate. The people serving couldn't be nicer. Nothing really there I liked. They did have an Air Max Day release though, which they'd raffled the day before and there was no sizes left. They it was a women's only colorway as well, but apparently it went up to bigger sizes, so unlike the one that was on the sneakers app. So I did get to see one in person. Didn't really like it. It gives me a share of footy kind of vibe, but it was interesting that, you know, there's been a bit of controversy around Sneaker Boy and everything like that. And seeing the store and, you know, the people in it, and it was pretty chill. The collection that you see in the video, that's actually the owner of the company's collection, which we're like, you know, my mind is blown. You got Chicago's, you got Travis's, you got like Powder Blue 3's, you got a bunch of stuff that is super crazy, you know, stuff that's many years old and all this, and he's just got it sitting there. And I, I take it like he's got one side there and maybe the other side of his shoes are in Melbourne or something, I don't know. But shoes under like lights all day, 
they're gonna end up like yellowing and everything even worse than what they would so his collection not mine No makeup, it's mine. We obviously had the hoodie on, but it got super steamy. Then when I was finishing my lunch, it's cold again. Then when I get to the car, I'm steamy again. So I don't even know. Uh, saw the MX ones at, at uh, Sneaker Boy. Had a dog display that I've never seen. Like imagine having all those shoes but not actually selling them. But yeah, like not even the Terrascapes. There's been a bunch of things that I've seen, but I've, I've randomly been wished Happy Air Max Day by a bunch of people just walking in the street, which is dope, but pretty uneventful Air Max Day, so I'm not sure where we go from here. Maybe we try and sneak his later tonight. But, this was kind of a bust. <laughs> like, it was a lot more exploration within this trip. I didn't actually make any purchases outside of a t-shirt at the Pitt Street Mall Nike store, but it definitely opened my eyes and has shown me that I need to make a lot more trips down to Sydney. I need to, uh, you know, stay on the grind when it comes to information on certain things. Like, I, I can get the information all the time, but I just need to be paying a, more, a bit more attention. But, we didn't get any Air Max Day releases. We didn't get any Terrascape 90s. Kind of a bust. Seems a lot less impressive to do so, but I think I'm just gonna have to order the black Terrascape 90s on the Nike app. But this has been another episode of Crease T. What'd you think? Did you see a bunch of shoes out in the wild that you thought there's no way they'd just be sitting on shelves and they were I know there's gonna be people that say they don't live within the city or close to a city maybe they're a little bit more suburban regional even other countries are watching this going how the hell are they on the shelf because that's what I thought when I saw some of these so but let us know in the comments, were you able to cop any of the Air Max Day releases? Should I have pulled the trigger on the concept Air Max one? Even just a review. Let me know, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that cliche YouTube stuff. And we'll be back with another episode. Peace.